Welcome once again right now at Galatians chapter 6 verses 11 right through to the end of the chapter verse 18. Paul calls for Torah obedience once again. Paul says here, see what large letters I write to you with my own hand. As I said before, some people believe that Paul had some kind of eye disease, and that's why he said, see what large letters I write to you with my own hand. Some people think, okay, well, that, that must have been Paul's thorn that he was talking about in 2 Corinthians chapter 12. That it was, you know, an eye disease or something like that. Well, it's a possibility, but I think it's more likely that Paul's talking about the actual length of his letter. As many as desire to make a good impression in the flesh compel you to be circumcised, just so they may not be persecuted for the cross of Christ. For even they who receive circumcision don't keep the law themselves, but they desire to have you circumcised that they may boast in your flesh. This is a very, very important point right here. For even they who receive circumcision don't keep the law themselves. Obviously here, Paul is emphasizing Torah obedience. He's saying, look at these people who command you to be circumcised, they don't even keep the law. Okay, so it's not about going through the motions. In previous sessions, we read a lot about the works of the law. And here we go again. Paul is saying, look at they are focused on works. They are focused on getting you circumcised, but they don't even keep the law themselves. And this is the point. Even today with a lot of Jewish people, they focus on the works of the flesh. They do what the Torah commands them to do as far as they understand and as far as they interpret but they don't even keep the Torah themselves. Let me give you an example. There are Jewish leaders in the world today, and they will tell you they are Torah observant. They do what God tells them to do according to the Torah. They obey all the thou shalts according to their own interpretation of it. They do what they are supposed to do when it comes to circumcision and a lot of other things that the Torah commands, but they completely skip over the things that they're not supposed to do, okay? For example, one big one is, thou shalt not bear a grudge, okay? It's very clear in the scriptures, in the Torah, that it's forbidden for you to bear a grudge. And a lot of these Jewish people, they bear a grudge against Christians. They say that, oh, Christians are the ones that killed many of us. They're the ones that persecuted us for hundreds of years, okay? They killed many Jews. And the truth is, there are a lot of people who claimed to be Christians, who wore the name of Christ and actually did persecute the Jews, unfortunately. However, the Jews today, a lot of them bear grudges against Christians because of that. They boast of themselves as Torah observant or doing the works of the Torah. However, they completely gloss over, they completely ignore the thou shalt nots, okay? They do the thou shalts, according to their own interpretation of it, but a lot of the thou shalt nots, they somehow don't see or ignore, okay? And this is what Paul is talking about here when it comes to the works of the flesh versus the fruit of the spirit, the works of the law versus the fruit of the spirit. Because you can go through the thou shalts and do all the thou shalts and still not be the chosen people of God. You can do all the things the Torah commands you to do and still not be right in your heart because you're not obeying the thou shalt nots, okay? You are still committing adultery. You are still bearing grudges. You are still murderous in your heart. You are still doing a lot of things that the Torah says thou shalt not. So Paul says here, don't think that you can be saved by doing all the thou shalts when you completely ignore the thou shalt nots, which calls you to deny yourself to self-sacrifice. Let me say this. We're talking about the Jewish people and Torah observance. If the Jewish people today really do obey Torah, if they really do observe Torah, if they do all the thou shalts, and they don't do all the thou shalt nots, if they don't bear grudges against Christians, if they don't commit adultery, if they don't steal, if they don't murder even in their own hearts, if they really do obey Torah, if they really are in harmony with the Torah, if they really are in tune with the Torah, then they will be open to Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus, 
their Messiah because Jesus is the Word of God. Jesus is the Torah in human form. It's impossible to obey Torah fully and not accept Jesus, which is the personification of the Torah. If you obey Torah fully, you will accept Jesus in a heartbeat. And that's what they did back in the first century. Most of the people who were part of the church were all Jewish people. In fact, you know, in Acts chapter 15, when the Gentiles first started getting saved, they didn't know what to do with them. It's like, how, can Gentiles actually get saved? You know, can they actually believe in Jesus? Because they're Gentiles and, and this is our Messiah. This is the Jewish Messiah. This is the thing. Once the Jews get really in tune with the Torah, then they will be in tune with Jesus because Jesus is the Torah in human form, in the flesh, okay? And likewise, once Christians really get a hold of the real, true Jesus, they will be Torah observant because Jesus is Torah observant. He is the Torah in the flesh. You can't be Christ-like without being Torah-like. You can't accept Jesus without accepting Torah. It is his word. The Torah is Jesus in written form. Jesus even said that. He said, you search the scriptures, i.e. Torah, because you think that in them, in and of itself, you have eternal life, but you don't realize all of those scriptures, i.e. the law and the prophets, all speak of me. If your Jesus does not look like Torah, if your Jesus and the Torah is not compatible, if your Jesus does not reflect Torah, and if the Torah as you read it does not reflect Jesus, there's something radically wrong. So when Paul says you can't be saved by the works of the law, he was saying just because you get circumcised and you do some of the thou shouts, doesn't mean that you're saved because a lot of the thou shalt nots you skip over. You still disobey the law. That's why in Galatians chapter 5 verses 19 to 21, he goes through the thou shalt nots. And he says, look, if you do any of these, you will not, N-O-T, not inherit the kingdom of God, i.e., no heaven for you, okay? So what Paul is saying here is that you are trying to obey the Torah, trying to do the thou shouts, but you're violating the Torah by doing what you shouldn't do. And again, one of the biggies is thou shalt not bear a grudge. When Jesus taught forgiveness and love, that is the scripture he was teaching from. He was teaching from Torah. So even they who receive circumcision don't keep the law themselves, but they desire to have you circumcised that they may boast in your flesh and what you do. But far be it from me to boast, except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. Christian, if you really applied the cross of Christ in your life, you should not be worldly. You should be crucified to the world. For in Christ Jesus, neither is circumcision anything nor uncircumcision, but a new creation. Again, Paul is emphasizing here that you need to die to self according to Torah. Again, you cannot obey Torah without dying to self. You cannot obey Torah in the flesh. You must put yourself to death. You must deny yourself. You must sacrifice yourself and be born again in order to really, really obey Torah. Furthermore, a lot of people think that the whole born again teaching is New Testament. When Jesus confronted Nicodemus in John chapter three and said, don't you know about being born again? You're a leader in Israel and you don't know this? Don't forget the New Testament wasn't even written at that time. Jesus was rebuking Nicodemus for not knowing about being born again before any New Testament scripture was ever written. And that is because the born again experience, the new creation experience is 100% pure Torah doctrine. Abraham got born again when he became Abraham. When the old self, Abram, passed away, so to speak, and the new self, Abraham, came into being. Jacob got born again and became Israel. It says when the Spirit of God came upon King Saul, he became a new man. And there are many other teachings like that throughout the Tanakh. 
So Paul is saying here, listen, it's not about doing this, doing that, do, you know, obeying this one little command to do something and this other little command to do something. And meanwhile, you, you totally ignore, you know, 95% of the rest of the Torah. That's basically what Paul was talking about when he was saying, hey, you're not saved by the works of the flesh because you think you do this and do that and you're saved. You know, you're ignoring the biggest things. And that's what Jesus even said himself when he was talking to the Pharisees saying, you know, you neglect the weightier matters of the law. You know, Pharisees, you you uh, you focus on tithing of uh, dill and, and 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 spices and this kind of thing, but you neglect the weightier measures of the law, the most important points of Torah, the most important commands of Torah. So in essence, Jesus was saying almost like what Paul was saying here to the Pharisees. You know, you you think by your works, by the works of the law, you're saved, you're good with God, but you ignore the law of God. You don't even keep the law yourself. As many as walk by this rule, peace and mercy be upon them and on God's Israel. From now on, let no one cause me any trouble, for I bear the marks of the Lord Jesus branded on my body. Apparently, Paul was talking about the scars that he had from the beatings and from the things that he went through as he was persecuted for his faith in Yeshua. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers. Amen. Seek God. And when you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.